Gamers, streamers, and Zoom enthusiasts, today we're taking a look at the JLab Audio Talk Go USB microphone. This microphone normally retails for 50 bucks on Amazon, link in the description below, but I picked it up on sale for only $30. This is a direct competitor to the Blue Snowball as well as the Blue Snowball Ice. The Blue Snowball is more expensive than this microphone and the Blue Snowball Ice, which does doesn't have as many features as the Blue Snowball is the same price at $50. Inside the packaging, you get the microphone stand as well as the cable, which is hidden in this box with some directions that we're not going to read because this microphone is supposed to be very simplistic. I will say you can probably keep the packaging for a carrying case because it does have some nice foam inserts, which is great for traveling or just tossing around. Once you get the top of the stand screwed on, you can pop out the legs. This is an aluminum stand, but I admit it kind of stinks. You don't buy this microphone for the stand. That's all I'm trying to say. The head does swivel around once you do a lefty loosey. You can swivel, swivel, swivel all you want, righty tighty, and it stays in a locked position. On top is just a standard 5A screw, which obviously your microphone has that on it as well and we can screw it on and get this set up and ready to go the microphone body and the stand are aluminum but the grill on the top of the microphone is just plastic this grill is not removable at least from what i've done in my testing unless you just pop it off and I'm not strong enough or I just don't want to break it. But it connects up to your computer via a USB cable that has type C, which is a right angle that goes into the microphone and then a USB type A to go into your computer. This cord is five feet long, pretty durable. I am kind of disappointed that they put a right angle on the type C port. I would have rather had it just be straight. I think it would look better. Plug this into your computer and that's it. That's set up for this microphone. It's very simple to set up. There are no drivers that you have to install for this microphone. You'll notice that there is a blue ring around the bottom and that's because this microphone has two different mic pickup patterns. There is the standard cardioid pattern, which is signaled by the blue. But if we utilize the bottom button, and press and hold, we can go to an omni pattern, which is better for omnidirectional sound. So if you wanna record a podcast with your friends, you simply take this microphone, you set it down like this, or some other way where it's, you know, kind of straight up and down like this. Like I said, stand sucks. And you will have sound pickup all around the microphone. But if you're streaming, or if you're just talking into it yourself, you'll most likely just want a cardioid pattern, so we'll press and hold cardioid pattern. The bottom button is used for more than just changing between a cardioid and omni pattern. You actually just give it a quick click, bada bing, bada boom, you are muted. So you can say all the weird things you want without people picking it up on your computer. But wait, there's more on the bottom of this microphone. If you get your handy dandy pair of headphones, microfiber cloth, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone cable and plug it into the bottom of your microphone. You have live audio monitoring with no latency. Additionally, you can adjust the volume that comes into these headphones and the volume on their computer with this scroll wheel. What I find most interesting about this scroll wheel is that it actually adjusts the audio level and brings up the ticker with like zero to 100 and you can just scroll through it and view it on your screen so you can adjust right here. That easy. Now that the microphone is set up, it's time for us to figure out if it is actually any good. Again, this is supposed to be a direct competitor with the Blue Snowball as well as the Blue Snowball Ice. What are the main differences? Well, this microphone has quick mute, Blue Snowball does not. They both are plug and play. This has two condensers, the Blue Snowball has one. They both include a metal mounting foldable stand. This one has volume control and a headphone jack. The Blue Snowball does not have either of those things. And now we get to the audio file stuff that I don't fully understand. 
The recording sample rate for this microphone is 96 kilohertz and for the blue snowball it is 48 kilohertz so this is double and the bit depth for this is 24 bit the blue snowball is 16 bit this connects via USB type C the blue snowball is still on that dang micro USB but it's a microphone so who cares what the recording sample rate the bit depth rate is if it still sucks when you're recording. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily matter if those things are better if the input still sucks from the actual microphone. But we'll find out right about now because we are going to be doing a comprehensive audio test for you right now. We are completing an audio test of the JLab Audio Talk Go USB microphone. Right now I am in Omni mode, so I'm going to swivel from side to side and see how my voice is impacted by me talking on the different sides of this microphone. This microphone claims it is good for podcasting, gaming, streaming, etc., and even ASMR. Now that we have tried the omnidirectional mode, we are going to test the muting function by giving it a quick click. quick do an unmute you'll notice that the sound is back and I probably came in somewhere mid sentence so hopefully that made sense let's switch to a cardioid pattern which we would most likely be using while streaming because it's directional and meant really for one person at least in the headphones I don't know how it will come out in the recording I definitely sound like I'm in a much bigger space and more echoey when I'm in the cardioid pattern I actually think I prefer, but again, I don't know what the finished product sounds like at this point, the omnidirectional pattern. All the audio that you're hearing now is completely raw. Now Jack will do some magic, and the audio that you're hearing now is processed. So this is processed audio in the cardioid pattern, similar to what you would get from our studio microphone because we do process that audio. Let's hear some processed audio in an omnidirectional format, and this should really round out, heh, <laughs> omnidirectional joke, our microphone test, which I hope you enjoyed. Just like I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think this microphone's worth it, we'll have it linked in the description below for you to purchase. If you enjoyed the video, think it was worth it, don't forget to drop a like on it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. As always, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.